The simple thing is this, see, if your joy, your sadness, your happiness, your misery is determined by something or somebody around you, the chances of you being joyful in your life is remote. For every one of you, your life is precious, isn't it? It's a precious life. If something is precious, where do you want to invest this life? Into what do you want to invest this precious life? If this is a worthless life, throw it somewhere. If this is a precious life, what do you want to invest this life into? If you look at it this way, you will find something truly worthwhile to do. If you think in terms of how to earn a living, how to get this kind of thing, that kind of thing, then you will do something silly that you will regret for the rest of your life. Most people are a regret, that's why they're going around joylessly because they're not doing what they want to do. They are not creating what really matters to them, they're doing something for a living. Earning a living is not a big deal for a human being. Every creature, every worm, insect, bird, animal is earning their living, isn't it so? With such a big brain, what is the big deal about earning a living? See, your ability to do things is not because you want to do things. I want to do something is my desire. Desire is just an intention. An intention won't make things happen. An intention will only set direction. Still you have to make the journey. We become too goal-oriented. Goal-oriented means we are interested in the consequence, but we are not interested in the process. Process is an end in itself. If you are absolutely devoted to the process, something will come out. But now we are interested in the consequence, not in the process. This goal-orientedness, I want to get there, I want to get there. No, I want to win the race. See, if you treat life as a race, if you have to win it, you have to get to the finish line soon. You want to? If you get to the finish line ahead of all these people, you won the race. You know what the finish line is? We'll be negotiating where to bury you. If you… if you go outside in the garden and try to catch an ant, who is born here, who's grown up here and probably he'll die here, if you try to catch him, he'll say, okay, crush me if you want. Is it so? He'll do everything to protect himself. He values his life, isn't it? Very much or no? Tiny little creature that we may not even notice, we may step on him without even seeing him, unfortunately. But he values his life immensely. Does he or no? He's got spark. But you, a human being, at least on this planet, you're the peak of evolution, <laughs> physiologically at least. What the most evolved creature on the planet means is, it has the most complex neurological system and it has the highest level of cerebral capability. That means you can think, you can remember, you have memory, you have a very vivid sense of memory and a fantastic sense of imagination. An ant doesn't have such a vivid sense of memory, nor does he have any great imagination, he has some. But he has a presence of mind about the life that he is living. Because the education systems that you're going through right from kindergarten level is such that it is about everything except you. 
somebody is PhD in tourism, somebody is PhD in biotechnology, somebody is PhD in something. Nothing about this. How does this function? There is no attention at all. A human being exists in three times. He lives because of the richness of his memory. The present experience is important and how vivid is your imagination for tomorrow is very important. Right now the problem is, these things have all gotten mixed up because discipline of faculty has simply not come. If you're postponing something, you're obviously doing something that you don't want to do. If there is something that you really want to do, will you postpone it or prepone it? Do you see somebody is waiting for someone they badly want to see? Only ten minutes. In the ten minutes they will look at the watch twenty-five times. Why? They want to prepone it. You're doing something that you don't want to do, so you want to postpone it. I'm asking, why are you doing something that you don't want to do? No, because if I do this, I will get that, I will get that. That's not the point. It doesn't matter what is your level of intelligence, what is your level of capability, introvert, extrovert, this, that, doesn't matter. Do you have the courage and commitment to make the possibility into your reality? That's all the questions. What is it that you're going to create? This precious life, where are you going to invest it? Are you going to invest it in something that's truly worthwhile? Or are you going to throw it away as a worthless thing? This is the important thing because what you call as my life is just a certain amount of time and energy, isn't it? As you sit here, your life is ticking away or no? You are young, you may not be thinking like this, but actually it's ticking away. What is ticking away is not time, what is ticking away is your life. So this energy that you call as my life, how are you going to invest it? Because if you are doing something truly worthwhile, it gets over before you know what happened. Only if you are doing something worthless, it feels like a long life. Something that happened ten years ago, you can still suffer, isn't it? Huh? Something that may happen day after tomorrow, you already suffer. What happened ten years ago or even ten days ago, does it exist right now? Does it exist right now? No. What may happen day after tomorrow, does it exist right now? No. no. So if you suffer something that does not exist, should we call you sane or insane? Success means what? I made it. What did you make? I bought a house site. You think that's an achievement? I got a job, I made this much money. It's a very constipated way of looking at life. I want young people to look at it in terms of how we can do something that cannot be done in this lifetime. Oh, what will happen if I don't fulfill it? If you… if you work incessantly, and still, at the end of your life, the job is not done. It doesn't mean you're a failure, it means you had a great vision. <laughs> That's what it means. <laughs>